Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I got you guys a doozy. Let's just say things are starting to get a little heated in the community, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, before I get into all of this, I want to let you guys know real quick that I am hosting a giveaway. It'll be ending a month from now. I started it actually yesterday, so yeah, keep that in mind. Um, all you got to do to participate in this giveaway is simply leave a like on the video, comment, and either follow my Twitch or subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell. And by doing that, you'll have a chance at winning an Xbox Series S, PlayStation 4, or a Nintendo Switch. The winner will get to choose uh, what console they are wanting. I don't really do much giveaways, but I decided to do this one just for like a thank you for your guys' continued support. I'll be getting in contact with the winner and I'll be announcing when the giveaway ends on my YouTube community page. So yeah, appreciate all you guys participating in it. So far, actually only 10 people have followed my Twitch by participating in this giveaway. But yeah, good luck to everyone that's actually participating in this giveaway. And all you gotta do is just really click a few times and you have a chance at winning something that costs us a couple hundred dollars. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video now. Like I mentioned before, things are starting to get a little heated within the community. And the reason why is because Bethesda is now selling some pretty powerful weapons within the Atomic Shop. In case you don't know, in the Atomic Shop currently, I'll go ahead and show you all real quick, you can purchase the auto axe and the cold shoulder. Um, let me go ahead and go down to it. As you can see, you can purchase the cold shoulder for 700 atoms, and you can purchase the auto axe for 700 atoms as well. And in case you don't know, these weapons are really good, especially the cold shoulder. Honestly, the cold shoulder is way better than the auto axe, personally, in my opinion. Uh, the cold shoulder has some amazing legendary effects on them. And the auto axe as well is just a freaking brilliant melee weapon. But yeah, when you purchase this, it will unlock to all of your characters too. So that's freaking awesome. In case you don't know, uh, previously we used to be able to obtain these out of like old uh, scoreboards. And then once, you know, those scoreboards went away for the season, we could now earn them by grinding stamps. And not just a little bit of stamps, 500 stamps to unlock these each to be able to craft them. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you all the effects on them real quick and then I'll get into what people are saying about this. Let's just say a lot of people are not happy that Bethesda decided to start selling these. This is basically like pay to win, but at the same time, it does save a lot of people time too. You don't have to, you know, grind those stamps now to be able to craft these weapons. You can just simply purchase each of them for 700 atoms which is equivalent to seven dollars. All right, so I just spawned into my server. Now let me go ahead and real quick craft these. Let's go to a weapons workbench. Here's the auto axe. And I think we can, okay, there it is. Yeah, we can craft it in the machine guns category. As you can see, Look at the cold shoulder effects. Four times ammo capacity, plus 50% damage to cryptids, and gradual freezing that reduces target's movement speed by up to 85% for four seconds. This shotgun is freaking amazing. Seriously, freaking amazing. So yeah, it's official. Bethesda is officially starting to sell legendary weapons. The auto axe doesn't come as a legendary, as you can see, but you can you know, modify it to have legendary effects by you know, using legendary modules on it, but the cold shoulder automatically comes legendary, as you can see here. I mean, this shotgun is just amazing. Uh, let me go ahead and switch out some perks real quick. All right, so I put on the shotgun perk cards real quick. So here's the damage I'm doing with just the shotgun perk cards on. Let's go. Let's go check this out now, just to show you real quick how powerful this legendary weapon is. Boom. Freezing abilities, plenty of ammo that you could shoot. Boom. Boom. Yes, sir. Amazing. But, uh, yeah, we can now just get this for $7. And now, since I well showed you how it is for gameplay and how it is a powerful weapon, 
So does the auto axe, but it doesn't come legendary. But nonetheless, you do have to grind quite a bit to get this nowadays. 500 stamps, which saves a lot of people time. But at the same time, it kind of sucks for the people that you know grinded all that time to get these. Let's go ahead and get into some of the comments that people are saying. So there's a Reddit post made about uh, these weapons being sold in the Atomic Shop, and there was 318 comments when I checked it last. And that's a lot of comments for a Fallout 76 Reddit post. So, yeah, quite a bit of people were upset. Some people agreed with this and was cool with it, which, hey, you know, it is what it is. Personally, to me, I don't really find it that bad just because I don't personally like grinding expeditions, so it saves me quite a bit of time. But I already earned these from the previous scoreboards. So I already had these unlocked. But I can see, you know, the frustration with people that do have to actually grind for... Uh, these weapons to be unlocked but it does once again suck for the players that did do all of this grinding check this out there's quite a bit of uh, complaints I'm gonna go ahead and block out the names of these people just cuz you know for privacy reasonings for them but yeah as you can see it states here so basically I never have to play the game I can just throw money at them what a load of horse poop I spent a lot of time grinding pre-Atlantic City pit for that plan and now it's just ten dollars I want reimbursement for every plan they plan to make viable I got the plan this person said below them I got the plan basically free for logging in for that season but I didn't even think about the people who spent weeks grinding expeditions for it then some guy comes along with ten dollars and nullifies all your effort it's messed up anyways going on and this person said have they sold actual weapons through the atom store before and not just skins for them because this feels like a jump in acceptability for me this person responded saying they did and pulled them within a day or two they were basic shotguns though not top tier weapons it was part of some starter bundle disgusting so once again but that's the pulled those starter bundles because of the amount of complaints i guess they got in the past or something either way it's crazy. Now they just are putting legendary weapons in the atomic shop. Anyways, pretty interesting to think about. Going on here though, this person said this and the new season's battle pass are now pay to win due to half the battle pass being Fallout First items and it's a shame to see it continue to this. Cold Shoulder is overpowered, but my strongest weapon with no shotgun perk and every other weapon with max perks is weaker. Same with Circuit Breaker Pistol, but they are also my favorites. Fallout 76 continues to prey on fear of missing out pay to win to only have the items earned in a limited time or buy if they possibly return it to the Atom Store. It's a shame to see these efforts being where the revenue is going and minimal new story content or bug fixing. Going on here, this person said, I legit want to know what this line is that they say they won't cross now. Selling in-game weapons in the shop is absurd. I haven't liked the direction for some time. Weapons as season rewards never sat right with me. I'm very disappointed right now. This person said, this kind of super freaking stupid. Alrighty. <laughs> Anyways, going on here. This person said, wasn't the atomic shop supposed to be cosmetic only with a few boosters? This person responded saying supposedly, but we see how well they stuck to that. Next up here, this person said, I grinded a while for the stamps and now this? Shake my head. And then this other person said, they should just put Thorn Armor and Secret Service on the Atom Shop too. Crusader Pistol, Gauss Weapons, go ahead. There's literally no reason why Bethesda should stop now. Carrying on. Only cosmetics? Yeah. And then this person said, if that's the direction they were going, they should just unlock those time limited items like the Robco t-shirt and shorts, etc. But uh, yeah, anyways, carrying on with more of these uh, furious players. This person said, that's messed up. People are cheering us on. Times have changed. For real, I took the time to grind to earn them. Now you can just buy them? Carrying on here. Forget doing quests and actually playing the game. So many plans for every item in the game now. What the heck is Bethesda doing? Here's someone that uh, is trying to make sense out of this, which I get where he's coming from with this. This person said they are appealing to people who didn't get them through the scoreboard and have multiple characters. If you got them through the scoreboard, they're unlocked for your entire account. Everyone else has to grind stamps on each character they want to have it. Buying it through the Atomic Shop will unlock it for your whole account, just like if you unlocked it from the scoreboard. Not making a judgment call here on whether or not it's right to do, just explaining why it would appeal to some folks. That's one of the reasons why I, I could see this being, you know, a good thing and fair for players who have missed out. And there's a bunch of new players coming on board since the Fallout TV show. And there's going to be even more when this new map expansion comes out in the distant future. But uh, yeah, 
Anyways, carrying on here, this person said, I just saw that. I feel bad for the players who grind it for the stamps. I kind of feel like this game is going the way of every other game. He's responding to, you know, the Reddit post that someone made about how you can purchase these weapons in the Atomic Shop now. Anyways, carrying on here, this person said, it's really turning the crap. I barely log on since the update. I don't think it's turning the crap. I think, honestly, the game has improved significantly, but, you know, this is considered pay to win in a sense. You are purchasing some pretty powerful legendary weapons. Cold Shoulder is one of the best shotguns in the game. He's carrying on here. Same thoughts here. It's like the crap that made me quit Destiny. Players grinding for a particular rare item. Then the devs introduce a Minerva-style seller with the grindable weapons. If they add the Gauss and Secret Service gear to buy for Adams, that'll be the worst. I just feel so underwhelmed this season. The scoreboard doesn't feel as rewarding, and plus, having Fallout first, there isn't any extra benefit to the scoreboard. There's no sense in paying to rank up either, since you still have to grind tickets if you really want everything. Carrying on here, well, at least people won't have to spend 100 or so hours grinding the 1,000 stamps a dozen at a time by doing a singular daily quest every day. I completely agree with this, dude. It does save a lot of people time and you know some people just don't have the time to grind that much it would take them literally like months to accumulate this if not a year you know it could take some time for some people that really don't have time to just hop on the game every day it's storming really bad where I'm at right now I love storms though <laughs> this person said I've got kids pets and a job that takes too much out of me that saves me hours of running expeditions I don't like instead of stamp farming Wanna guess how I got the atoms to buy it? Playing the game. 76 out of 76 pipe rifle scrap, and that's 80 atoms. Season pass at 56, but just doing dailies and playing, not spending a penny. Use brain, be happy. You know, I agree with the, what this guy's saying too. Like I just mentioned, some people just don't have the time to grind this much for specific items. And there has been a lot of complaints about how much they have grinded. But they could, but that's the could make the grind more simple. You know, it, so we don't have to grind as much. So you still have to earn it, but you don't have to work as hard to earn it or grind as long. But anyways, carrying on here, this person said, we should get 20 to 25 stamps per expedition or a stamp vendor cost rebalance, not $10 bundles. 34 runs for 500 stamps for one of the weapons. It's way too much and adding $10 bundles to try to fix community complaints about the stamp economy is just bullcrap. Like I just mentioned, you know, just simplifying the grind, I think, would make players happy. Anyways, uh, this person said, I did grind for the Union Power Armor on the older system before the 15 per. Did they not rebalance it enough, lol? One run takes 10 to 12 minutes. It's a pretty meager grind compared to real MMOs. Lowering prices or increasing rewards would be to uh, piss in the face of those that grinded the pit. That's not the way to do things. It's really not that serious, someone said after that. You know, I don't know. It's hard to make people happy. <laughs> Honestly, I think rebalancing the grind a little bit and making it easier, I think would make more players happier. Or just simply make the weapons cost cheaper instead of them being 500 stamps each. Make them like 250 stamps each or something. I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's just some of the complaints. I'll leave the Reddit post down below in the description. There's a lot of upset players. And then again, there's some players that are, you know, cool with this. I just figured I'd share this news with you guys because I thought this was something interesting that's going around in the community and something, uh, you know, that we haven't really seen much in the game. They're officially selling legendary weapons in the Atomic Shop. Well, the Cold Shoulder is a legendary weapon. The Auto Axe isn't a legendary weapon, but it's a unique weapon that we could only get uh, from the scoreboard in the past or from grinding stamps. Uh by doing expeditions if you missed the scoreboard. But yeah, I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Do you agree with this? Is this something that you would like to see more of Bethesda to do? Like sell specific things in the Atomic Shop that could help the players out to make them better? Or what? Well, what's your opinion on this? I would love to know your guys' thoughts about all this. I thought this was really interesting and I figured I'd share this kind of news for the Fallout 76 community. So yeah, I guess that's wrapping up this video though. As always, most importantly, thanks for taking the time watching and listening. Until next time guys, peace.